Hi guys, it's Mita King, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Incineroar! Ha, just kidding. Patrick Star. What's the difference, though? As we'll see in just a second. So, to get right into the video, well, wait, just kidding. Before I get right into the video, please take two seconds to click subscribe and click the bell icon right next to subscribe. Thank you. So now to talk about everyone's favorite cat, Incineroar. Ha, just kidding. Patrick Star. So, Patrick Star, like Incineroar, is a grappler character. A character who has multiple grabs, as he explains here in Patrick the beginning. Is a grappler. He's a grappler. All of his specials center around grabbing your opponents. Multiple grabs on special moves. And the stage to Don't ignore this part. He's saying thrashing opponents against the stage. Yeah, that, that part doesn't matter. <laughs> let's, let's, let's talk about neutrals. That's not going to be... Uh, that, that, there's not going to be walls on neutrals, probably. Let's start with Patrick's line attacks. So yeah, Patrick doesn't really have that much range. He has a lot of power, and he's an up-close fighter. Very, very Incinera-esque, pretty much. So that's the type of fighter he is. He doesn't really have projectiles. He wants to get up close to you and then beat you up. So if you're fighting against him, you want to keep him out of the distance. He's that type of fighter. Patrick's light neutral is... This is his jab. Or, uh, this is called light neutral. This is also known as his jab or forward tilt, which is basically all the same thing. And it's like a 10 damage jab, knocks you to the ground. Obviously, as you know, you know, you could probably do tech chases or, you know, they miss tech and get some combos. Pretty straightforward move. His light up is... So, well, hey, look at this. He's, 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 he's a, has a, is that a cheeseburger or something? Yeah, a pickle, pickles. Yuck. Ooh, everyone, everyone, all the pickle lovers are going to hate me right now. Anyway, so his up tilt, it's a basic up tilt. I just want to mention something real quick before I forget. Besides his down tilt, which seems to be around frame 7, all of his other moves seem to be frame 8 or later, which is quite a bit different than SpongeBob, who had one frame 5 move and multiple frame 6 moves. So several of his fast attacks are about two frames slower than SpongeBob SquarePants' attacks. Um, yet the main b benefit he has is that he has more raw power on his attacks. Just wanted to mention that early. So this is a basic up tilt. Pretty pretty standard and straightforward what you see. He uses the burger to send him flying. Oh boy, it's 3 a.m. And his light down is... This is his fastest attack. It's the only one at frame 7. I'm assuming that this laser beam which lingers a while and has a shockwave. I'm assuming this is going to have a lingering effect for a few frames. I wouldn't be surprised if this was effective as a uh, somebody, you know, to edge guard somebody who's recovering to the ledge. I, I personally think that this best use of this move would probably be to edge guard somebody getting to the ledge. To reject them from it. Because it, it does seem like the laser, laser is out for a while. Toot laser. Toot laser. Pew. Let's now talk about Patrick's air light attacks. And his air light attacks. It, uh, this 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 next one he's about to talk about, I think, might be his best attack. I'll show you in a second. Patrick's light neutral. This is his neutral air. This move is, I believe, it's a frame seven or eight move. Um, it's, it's, it's his forwarder, and it seems, from what I've seen of it, it has pretty good range on it, and it does 12 damage, and it doesn't have too much lag after it, both in the air or for landing, so I, I, I honestly think that, like, he can just use this to approach, use this to space, or if somebody's off stage, he just uses it and uh, kicks them really fast. I do think this is one of his more useful moves from the versatility I've seen of it, which you're going to see many more examples over the next five minutes of, of just seeing this move. It does look like it has good range and priority, and... Pretty quick. 12 damage is pretty good power considering a lot of other areas are like 8 to 10 damage. Just looks just like a solid overall move. Not broken or anything, just a solid move, you know? Sidekick. His light up air. And this is the same as his up tilt. Is, is he eating the burger? He's eating it. No, it becomes a tiny burger. He tries to eat it, but psych. He's smiling and the burger's here. And then it becomes a small burger. Animator, fire these animators. Uh, my immersion is now ruined. <sighs> no, but jokes aside, though, um, his up tilt is basically his aerial up a, his up air, uh, which is basically the same as his up tilt. It's pretty much the same exact move. It's just a standard up air, just pretty much as basic as it gets. Not a bad move, though. Down air is this move is a spike move, but it only seemed to do, from what I've down. seen here, it only seemed to do 10 damage, and it didn't seem like it has that much range, except this frame. And maybe it does have range, actually. But it doesn't seem that strong. Like if he was at 60 to 70, it didn't seem like it hit him that hard. So I feel a little indifferent about this. But you know, maybe if you get him off stage with some fairs, maybe a downer can burk or something. You'll notice that Patrick's light attacks are very short on range. Yeah, he's talking about how uh, his attacks don't have much range. Make up for it by having lots of. Oh, I think it's Forder might actually. His light dash attack is star wheel. This move, that's a star wheel. This it doesn't look like it sends him too far, but this comes out on like frame eight. 
which is a pretty, it's either average or above average for speed. I think it's pretty average. It's a pretty average speed move. Um, so I, I, I could, could probably lead this into the grabs. There's a, he has grab combos that you can lead into, or you probably lead, lead, lead into a smash attack. Uh, the standard is just dash attack to F smash, which a lot of characters can do. I wouldn't be surprised if you can also do dash attack into grabs. There's, a, there's actually a suicide grab at those 20 errands I'm going to show you later. That might be led up from the dash attack as a combo. Pack's hitbox covers almost all of Patrick's body, which makes it a good offensive... It's basically saying it covers the whole body for the most part. And defensive option. Now to prove that we can make moves... Now this move actually... I actually don't like this move because so when you actually see him... Thing, let's check out Patrick's uh, strong attacks. Oh, is they're not, they're not talking about it yet. I'll, when, when, when we get to it, I'll talk about his stronger dash attack. Patrick's strong neutral is... So this one, I'll talk about first. This is his forward smash. It seems to come out around frame 18, both in the air and on the ground, even though they're different moves. This doesn't have much range, but it seems like it has above average power. No! No, this is Patrick! This is Patrick! No, this is Patrick! This is a frame 18 forward smash. Uh, not much range, but it has uh, good, good, good power. He just wants you to know that Boom. So yeah, it's pretty good power. Not a crusty in the magnifying glass of 53. His strong up is... He has trophy hat. This frame 17 attack, pretty, pretty, oh. pretty standard. It looked like the air version had more range for some reason, but it could be my imagination. Hey, if man is Boom. Look at SpongeBob. Ugh. Look, look at his face and his teeth. Where's his eyes? This could be an instrument, a trophy being a move. Boom. It's fair game. The startup is somewhat slow, but very powerful if it manages to hit. So yeah, he's basically talking about how smash attacks are powerful. And his strong down. And this is a body slam move. Incineroar's uh, down, Incineroar down smash. Belly flop. Belly flop. Looks like it's a one frame slow in his other moves, a frame a, a 19 move, but we saw it combo off of his up tilts. I don't know if it's a true combo or not. I don't know if it'll combo off up tilt or if it'll combo off his dash attack, but we'll see. Because it does spike, that could be useful. Like here, right here, we see. But like, we don't, I can't tell if this, look, see right here? See how it, look, he's in stun right now, but it looks like he could jump here. See, it, it didn't look like that's true at all. But I mean, it'd be nice if it is, but it's, I don't know. I, I feel pretty indifferent about that. Next up, and this is a super slow move. It looks like frame 22 or 3 or something. It's pr pretty slow, but it's, it's like it's downer. And it makes that little sound effect. But they're not talking about that yet. This move looks pretty darn good. This move, it's like frame 18 or so, more or less. But it, 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 from what I've seen of it so far, it looks like it has a pretty good hitbox. And on certain heights, it actually auto-cancels. Like, look, it doesn't look like it has that much lag. If you do the move early, watch. See, see how he just landed and didn't have lag? It looks like it's one of those moves that, like, it lingers for a while. Look, let's, let's watch that one more time just so you can see. It looks like it lingers for a while. It looks like it's powerful. Has a good hitbox, but then uh, it doesn't have... Like, right here, you saw some landing lag. But on this one, you didn't see landing lag. Watch. Bam. It didn't seem like he had lag on it. See? He just lands. So that means you have a giant, massive hitbox here that just doesn't have lag after it. Which, uh, I think this is going to be one of his better attacks, offensively and defensively, in my opinion. And it's 13 dance is pretty good. And But then it's really good, the knockback. It was very consistent. It was very good knockback. Even if that's just base knockback, that's, that's pretty consistent knockback. I believe this move would be good for him. Very good. Starfish. Could probably use that for Ed's guards or just any situation. His strong up. See the trophy hat? Doesn't it? I don't know. It. Look how far he's holding it this time. It looks like he's holding it further than on his up smash. This could just be a visual illusion, but like, it does look like he's having more range of his up smash in the air than the ground one. And you can even see from this, right here, this this purple thing. This one looks like it's actually pretty good. This move. Look at that. Look how far this goes. If this purple indicates the hitbox, which, you know, uh, why else would they have the purple here? Then that's that's a lot of range on an aerial up smash. So I think this move might be what, what we're looking into, because that, that looks pretty good. Aerial trophy. And his strong... Cone. Down air is... Cone crap. <laughs> how, how does he do that? Do, do you guys... Guys, let me know in the comments below. Do you like ice cream cones? Or do you think it's better to have ice cream without the cone? Because I think having the ice cream cone is amazing. And one of the best things, so like when you're at an ice cream truck, I always try to get the ice cream cone because the ice cream cones are really good. Like mint chocolate chip ice cream with the ice cream cone. I would always eat the entire cone. It's really good. Fresh. I, I need to know if everybody agrees board. with me. Use it at your own risk. Use it at your own risk. Ha <laughs> ha. Funny, funny person. Patrick Strong now this one, I want to say, I don't, I'm not impressed with this move and here's why. Spinning. What's this? He's already doing his attack. 
But look. Look. He's doing his attack right here. Watch. It looks like it should hit already, right? But look. Look how long that took to hit. That took way too long to hit. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm not really, and he was, it was at 6 to 22, that's only, the 16 damage, but that, that was too slow. Maybe if it, it was active earlier on, that would have been better. But I don't like how long it takes. It looks like it hit on frame 20 or so, from what I saw. Straight out of the bun wrestling competition. And you'd have to live under a... And this one is a slam. He can, he can throw you up to two, anywhere from one to three times. Uh, you would always want to do either two or three, to be honest, because, um... Because, well, well, one and three is basically the same, but three does way more damage, but the two also sends them in other directions. So it's like back, forth, back or something, depending on which way you want to send them. Rock to not notice Patrick's special and that's the attacks. move I'll talk about later. Patrick's neutral special this is a, a is. giant grab. We're, we're, me we're, we're melee morph right now. Look at this. We're melee morph, except uh, it's uh, much slower. So what is this? This move, I think it's frame 16 or something. This looks like it's around 16, give or take. Um... But it has a lot of range, and this is the one where he slams you down a bunch of times. See, he's at 26. Oh, well, he only did it once. Boom. You just mash after that. Boom, boom, boom. He's like, uh, what's his name? Jax from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> up to three times, except Jax can do five. His up special is this move is really slow. You can aim it any direction. It's kind of like a Firefox in melee, but the thing is, like, this move, like, it does go kind of far. But it it looks like it takes more than half a second to start. It takes at least half a second, if not longer, to start from what the animation looks like. So that's a really slow move. So I feel like there's situations you could probably hit Patrick down and just spike him again. But on the on the flip side, he could just like purposely go low and go like super low and then like maybe like avoid a second spike or something just by evading himself. So I feel indifferent because like I feel like it, what it lacks in speed, it makes up for in the fact that he, he jumps really far. Like, look, he's going really far. So maybe you could just evade people anyway. So it might not be as bad as I'm saying. It might, might be okay because of that reason. Already a star. He turns see, but look, do you see how long that took? But then on the flip side, it took a long time, but he goes up to here at least. Superstar flying upwards. After activating the move, and you can go in any direction. The direction in which Patrick will fly. Any opponents in the way will get grabbed. And it's, it's not really that strong. It's mostly just recovery. You wouldn't really use it for anything else. His down special is... This move, it looks like it's way slower than the other grab. And it seemed like it had around 50 total frames instead of like 35 or so. It's, it's way slower. But and it's, I think it comes down to like 22-ish, give or take. So it's basically a slower grab with more lag. But it does... It's, it's, it, and it's actually less damage than the triple slam. So it seems like it's just worse in every way. However... There's one really, really good use of it, besides the actual fact that it can kill. Uh, well, it, the fact that you can suicide with it. So if you get, if you, imagine you're playing a turn and you have the, the lead. You have the lead, and you just do that. Now, obviously, that can kill there. So this is better, even though it's a little less damage than a triple slam, it's, it's better if it connects on most situations, because it hits them off stage, might kill them and stuff. But you could suicide with them. So if you get the stock weed, and then you do like maybe, I don't know, like a dash attack down B or just get a down B, you could trade the stock, and now either the game's over or now you're up two stocks to one. So I feel like that's really good for trading a stock with a lead. It seems like they both die at the same time, too. Boom. If you want to be one of those, you can, also do you can do this. I frame by frame, it looks like they die. See, it looks like they both explosive. It looks like they die at the same time. See, it, just, it, it looks like it. See. And for his top move, Patrick plays. So I think uh, getting a lead of Patrick and going and then trying to land that move can pretty much give you a free win because if you're up two stock to one, you can just play it safe and trade the rest of the match and just get a free win. Mean belly. Patrick stage is. The Patrick stage one. is banned. Dutchman ship. This is an unless, unless we legalize everything chaotic, just for fun. Uh, I don't like the way the flying Dutchman is staring at us. His head just spun and now, behind let's him. Watch Patrick full around with his moves and now a full round of his moves. I, I, I actually thought this was uh, less impressive than the other than this uh, Sally. Nope, just kidding. Sandy and SpongeBob uh, stuff. Um, but uh, like the, the the combos they're doing is it doesn't seem real at all. But like most of them, so I'll I'll show you in a second what I mean. So they show off with, they show off the dash attack here. They they clank, uh, jab puts them to the ground. Obviously in tournament you would jab block or tech chase. But here he's just doing this, which doesn't even seem the combo. I guess he's just showing off different moves and up tilt. But then walk, 
This, that, he doesn't seem to be in stun anymore. Uh, dash attack, that can combo to other things, but this guy didn't do that there. And you could probably two frame him with down, well, not two frame, you could probably edge guard him with putting it down to the ledge, most likely, but uh, he didn't do that here. And this, he just shows the suicide, even though he's winning and at 0%, and this is a very bad idea. He's just demonstrating the moves to show you, hey, you can do this. And he's basically just showing what demonstration of the moves. And it's pretty, pretty much the same intro as before, for whatever reason, and he's just showing off just a triple, like a, the, the body slam. And that fair, I think, I, as I said, this fair works pretty good. It doesn't seem like it's too laggy. Pretty, pretty decent power. I think it's going to be good for neutral, as I said, neutral and uh, the edge guarding. I think that's one of his going to be one of his main moves, if it does have the range that I'm expecting. None of these are real, so he's just showing off random moves that don't link. Upward hits. None of these are real. Hitting him against the wall. And he's just catching his getup. Just showing off the move again. There. That's the exact same sequence. This is the same sequence of four moves that he did th uh, three times now. The slow dash attack. Oops. Boom. And that I guess that could spike, but I, I don't think like a human would. I, I don't think somebody is gonna like. I don't think that's likely to like happen in a match because I feel like the uppies will usually beat it. But I guess you know if they don't recover well, you could just do this. Depending on how big, because we don't know how big this hitbox is. Right here they traded, so we don't know how big the hitboxes are. So that may or may not be good for for edge guarding. We'll see. So this is the you do two to hit him off. So you do two slams there because you want him to go to the right. If you did three slams, it would do like eight more damage, but it would hit him back to the left. So two slams is better there. And of course you do a forward air. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> he just does downer. <laughs> Bam! Sends him really far. Probably a forward air. No, nope. yeah. For see, uh, see. After the forward air, it seems like he recovered really fast. Look. Watch after he do, after he hits him a forwarder, he just he can just like easily recover. See, that's he could recover at least that soon, if not sooner. And that time uh, the uppy beat his down smash, and that's the forward smash, and then hit him off stage. Pretty simple. That's a uh, you dash attack and do a jab. And the down smash. Not, 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 not very impressive gameplay there, but it showcases his moves. And uh, yeah, so those are my thoughts on Patrick. I think his forward air is one of his better moves. His grab means you can't really shield against him. Not that you would shield much in this game anyway, but people might instinctively shield just because they're you know used to it and they want to defend themselves. But with him having so many grabs, you're probably not going to shield against him often, or if you do, you get punished, which leads his other moves to be good. Like you might get more opportunities for dash attack that you're not going to block or forward air you're not going to block and stuff. And his aerial, like the starfish, where he, he it looked like it, it auto canceled pretty fast and looked like a really good move be, uh, across the board. Besides that, I think he's gonna have some good edge guarding tools as well. I feel, I feel a bit indifferent about his uppy starting so slow, but yeah. And also, when you get a lead with him, it seems like you can. Um, when you get a lead, you can basically, if you get the lead, or or maybe if you just want to trade. Oh man, I'm down by a lot of percent. And I just want to trade the stock. You could go for that trade to try to even up the match or get a full stock lead. Or just end the game. So he has some he has some good tools. Uh, we'll have to see what, when it when it comes out. He's probably going to be zoned out a lot, uh, unless his fair is good range, and uh, projectile projectile. But he, he has good up close and looks like he has good edge guarding uh, from a first from a first impression point of view. So yeah, these are my thoughts on uh, Patrick Starr. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this video. I feel like he's he's kind of he's kind of inspired off Incineroar in my opinion, except more leaning toward the edge guarding and stock trading. Uh, so yeah, that's my, that's my thoughts on him so far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Before leaving, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And I also do coaching on Medify if you guys want to get better at Smash Bros. Melee Ultimate. Check out the YouTube description before leaving. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next video.